In this video, I will take you through the step-by-step -step process to completely remove and install your front bumper on a 2014 to 2019 Toyota Highlander. If you find this video helpful, please give a like and remember to subscribe to my channel. This is a 2014 Toyota Highlander that I have done a complete exterior detail job on. This include rust prevention, paint touch up, replacement of clear coat, compound and polish, installation of 3M protection film, as well as ceramic coating. I will provide links to those videos in the description below but this video will focus on removing and installing your bumper and a 2014 to 2019 Toyota Highlander. So after popping the hood from the inside of the car and holding it in place with the stand we can start the process of removing the bumper. I'm using this plastic clip removal tool to remove all these clips from this plastic trim. I am removing this trim to get access to the clips that holds the bumper to the car. Now I'm going to remove these clips from the front here. There are also three more clips to the front here, one in the center and two on the sides. So after removing those clips at the top, I will be removing seven screws underneath the car that holds the bumper to a protective weather strip. So now it's time to remove one bolt from there, another bolt there and a clip as well as another bolt right there. But this car doesn't have any of these bolts. It seems like from the last repair the workman didn't replace those bolts so I will need to find some 10mm bolts as well as a bumper clip when reinstalling this bumper. However on the other side there is one of the three 10mm bolts as well as the clip still here so I will be removing these. Next, I'll be removing this piece from the bumper. It is held by clips. You just need to be gentle with this, not to break anything. Just take your time and try to release those clips from the bumper. If you're having difficulty, you can use the clip removal tool to assist in getting those clips out. So now you need to just pull the bumper forward and it pop right off. And now all is left to do to completely remove the bumper from the car is to remove the two wire harness for the fog lights. Now I need to remove these grills from the bumper. So these grills are held to the bumper by two screws and some clips. So I first remove these two screws here and then use the plastic removal tool to release these clips and it will pop right out. As you can see the top piece came off without me doing anything to it. No, I won't be able to remove the bottom grill because it was glued on to the bumper by the previous repair person so I won't be able to remove the bottom piece from the bumper. Now I'm going to remove these fog lights. So all I'm going to do now is to reinstall the grills. Try to be careful with the paint because it's fresh paint, easy to scratch. Now 
Now I'm going to reassemble the fog light and we install in the car. So the fog light is held by one bolt and some clips. The bolt is to the bottom right there and the clips are to the side. And now it's time to reinstall on the car. So first you place the bumper on the car and you can use one clip just to hold it together and then you can start at the sides. So I'm using a heat gun to make adjustments to the clip so that it holds better. Guys, do not forget to reconnect your plug for your fog light. And after you reinstall the side piecing, you install one bolt right there, another bolt right there as well as a clip and another bolt right there and then you are done with the side. Then you need to install those four clips at the top right there and remember there are also three clips below those four clips. One to the left, one to the right and one in the center. It is nice to have excess clip and you can purchase a kit like this on Amazon. I will put a link in the description below. So all I'm doing right now is just to reinstall all the clips that I removed when removing the bumper from the car. And this is the easy part guys, all the hard work has already been done. And finally, it's just to reinstall the 7 screws to the bottom of the bumper that holds the bumper to a plastic weather strip on the bottom and this is the finished result guys thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give a like and remember to subscribe for similar videos see you on the next one guys